Yes, we were doing the Team Minimax Forum, uh, giving some people some information on the history, uh, the current uh, information, and what our fir uh, future uh, Team Minimax goals are to uh, help our customers and get them uh, in their building, flying, any questions that they have to, to help them uh, enjoy their uh, there has to be thousands of these airplanes that they're flying now. Yeah, there's well over 4,000. We quit counting. Uh, it just it got to be too much to try to keep track. Uh, there's a lot of builders out there. A lot of people think that we shut down. We didn't shut down. We uh, just uh, changed our name. And from the original, we're trying to keep Wayne Eisen's uh, dream alive by supporting our crew. Um, uh, uh, keeping some of the original crew and supporting the customers, helping them with their builds. Um, and you've also uh, introduced uh, free plans for uh, people that are out there that are interested or looking at building one of your airplanes. Yeah, last year we introduced that we were going to start offering re free, free plans for download and that's gone over very well. We've over 1,500 people have downloaded our plans. Uh, several have gone in and bought our starter uh, fin and rudder kit, which we run for a $59 special for them. Yeah, because that's one way of finding out whether you can actually do this or whether you'd be interested in doing this. Right, and that was our whole concept. We wanted them to have a feel of whether it was enjoyable enough, doable enough for them to complete the whole plane. And several have already gone on to their next kit, uh, sub kit, to be able to complete their plane. And We've even come out with a few new designs um, that are in the final stages. Uh, one is the Supermax, which is going to be due in 30 days. We'll be able to put it to the market. And the next one is in December, which is going to be a side-by-side -side, uh, laser-cut uh, Aeromax. Because they had a two-place Minimax at one time, which was side-by-side. -side, but that was many, Yeah, many, many years ago, and that was a uh, mid-wing. We're going to do the high wing, um, and the reason we decided not to do the tandem is we wanted to be able to, in the other countries that we have uh, affiliates with, um, they want to be able to do the training in a side-by-side -side configuration, and so that's why we lean towards that. So how many aircraft are you currently offering to the market now? To the market right now, eight. By the end of the year, ten. And how many of those are single places and how many are two places? All of them will be single place except for the side-by-side -side Aeromax. And how many of them then are tail draggers and how many are dress pullers? All of them right now are in the tail dragger configuration and we're in the final stages of uh, tri-gear uh, modification that you'd be able to add to any one of the Maxes. Now, over the years, a lot of change, well I shouldn't say a lot of change, but there's been changes made to the internal structure of the aircraft and that type of thing. If somebody had an old Mini Max or has purchased, because you see them coming up on the on barn stores and stuff like that, <laughs> if they were to pull the fabric off, they should really contact you and get some of the information on some of the updates to these airplanes. Yes, mo most of the airframes are the same, but there are minor differences. So, especially if you buy a used one, you need to be able to get the plans and do some measurements and make sure that you're working on the right type of plane because if you put the wrong engine in it then you could be into having some troubles. Um, the wing structures for each of the planes are different. They look the same, they fit the same, but they're not the same. And we, we want somebody to be safe. Now do you have a newsletter or anything that somebody could join to keep uh, in contact with you regular basis? Uh, we actually are on Facebook as facebook.com slash team minimax and we post a lot of information there. We get a lot of questions from there. And our main website is teammini-max.com. And we have uh, a customer uh, question place that you can send in any of your questions. We have order forms. We have an online store now, which we were not available last year, but we were, uh, was able to get that accomplished. And uh, people have been using it from all over the world. Now, let's say someone was at uh, Oshkosh or came to you shortly after Oshkosh and said, hey, I'd like to have one of your uh, kits. How long would it actually take them to get one of the 
kits delivered to them? It would take me two weeks to have a kit ready and, and out the door to them. Wow, that's you're right on the ball yeah, there. We have every, every part for every Mini Max in stock, and so we're we're raring to go. Okay. Now, although the plans are free, if you want the full size and you wanted to print it out, there, I imagine there'd be a cost for that. Yeah, we we did a minimal cost of ninety five dollars plus the shipping cost, and the other option is they could take the printed version, the PDF file, take it to a local print shop, have them have them printed out there which it's going to cost them about $95 to $105, depending on where they go. Now, what type of facilities do you currently have for production of the uh, parts and pieces and aircrafts? Uh, we're, we're located in Niles, Michigan, and we have a 60 by 60 hangar, uh, Quonset hut type hangar, and we keep everything stocked up. Um, we have enough, we try to keep enough at least for five airplanes in stock. So again, if somebody wanted to get in touch with the easiest way is the website, uh, give me the website address again. The website address is teamminimax.com or they can call my cell phone direct at 574-214-3660. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.